Hey, this is grabbing your advice. All right, see my hand right there. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Waving at you. I am. I have found a way that I think I can share puzzles on my YouTube for people to play. This right here is a puzzle that I just uh, finished, and I absolutely love it. If you go down here to the left, which you can't see on the screen, but it gives you the name of the person who created the actual puzzle that I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how to start over from scratch and do a new puzzle, okay? This is called JigsawPlanet.com, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this video, and when I share this particular video here, um, I'm just going to keep adding some puzzles that I, links to some puzzles that I have actually done to where you can do them too. Um, and if you want to go in here and explore yourself, it's really easy. It's just JigsawPlanet.com and you go right here to explore. I always like to go to popular searches right there and it will give you topics. Uh, for instance, we just had Halloween, so if you want to look up Halloween puzzles, you know, there you go, and down here at the bottom, it has several pages. Even if I hit number five, obviously it goes to nine, and then, you know, ten, and some of these are kind of fun to use, like, like this one here, like this little house, um, might be hard to see, so I'll just pick the pumpkin. So say you like the pumpkin right there. Uh, you click the pumpkin, you see the pieces are all over the place. You can slide them around. I always like to try to get the sides with the sides, the tops with the tops. And if I see the bottoms, I start pulling the bottom pieces down, you know, toward the bottom. I have learned that that's actually <laughs> a good way to do puzzles. And I pull the sides over there. So I just kind of do that, and then the last thing I'm going to do is kind of work in the middle. But anyways, these are all the same kind of color scheme. Something you can do in here is you can come up here and hit play as. So say you want to make this puzzle go by quickly, or you're playing with a, um, say you're playing with a seven or eight year old, um, or a five year old, and you just want to make the pieces shorter. So you can come over here to play as and click 24. Right here, start new game. And it's going to give you 24 larger pieces, as you can see. And this means that the game's going to go by a lot faster. You know, it's going to go by in record time. And again, you just kind of separate what's on the bottom from what's on the top. Oh, and when it clicks, it makes a cool sound. I guess you heard that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can pick as many, you know, sizes or whatever as you would as you would like to pick. So let's go back here to explore and see what else we can pick. Um, you can pick the last created, which are the most recent uploaded ones to go through. Um, there's a girl with a car, a cat. And it says on here how many pieces it has. Like, this girl has 12 pieces. And you're probably looking at this piece here going, what on this earth? Well, you can change this piece to a regular puzzle piece. Uh, same with this piece over here at the bottom near the cat. It looks like a claw. So it's really cool. Uh, we'll pick the cat with the claw thing. And um, I wish I had some more colorful pieces to show you so you could see the claws. But see these odd shapes going around there? This puzzle's pretty difficult because of that. So again, you go up here to play as. And you come down here to custom this time. And on custom, you can do the traditional puzzle piece, which is the second one. Click it. And then up here you can scroll anywhere from zero pieces to super hard. So I'm going to go down and you see this number value changes. I'm going to go down say to 24 pieces. Click enter. And again start new game. So these are going to be piece puzzle pieces that I am familiar with playing. 
I think in some other countries, because I have a friend that uh, lives in another country, and she told me that, you know, she loved doing these puzzles with the funky shapes and everything. She was like, that is so popular in my country. And I'm like, you know, it's not puzzles that I grew up with. So I like to come over here and do these. But, um, now no matter what I do, that's not going to fit. You see that? <laughs> but it did fit that one. Um, let me just see if I can get a side in here before I close shop. That's not going to fit. I need part of an eye. There. All right, I got that one side coming down, people. All right, let's explore again. With it Christmas coming up, I'll show you one of my fa favorites. And that's going to be over here in the seas, come down to Christmas. And they have all kinds of Christmas things. They have like gingerbread houses right there. That's like a real gingerbread house. It's a little mouse sleeping. You have Santa Claus candles, cute puppies, gingerbread men, Santa by the tree. I've actually done this one. And I'll click it. This one says it has 90 pieces and it's the shape I like. So I'm just going to click it. And honestly and truly, it's this puzzle thing is a lot of fun. And if I want to make the pieces bigger, I know I've already showed you this. It's 99, so let's say, let's say we do 63. Start new game. And go in there and the pieces, as you can see, are a little bit bigger. And on something like this, I'm probably going to try to put all the, anything that looks like Santa together with his red suit. You know. Still focus on moving the ends to where they need to be. But I just see all this red right here, and I know that's going to be going with Santa's suit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post uh, one of these puzzles that I have finished. And then you'll go to my YouTube channel, go down in my comments. See if I can take you there. So when you go to my YouTube channel, um, just say for something like this. Oh, I'll pick the car here. So on the car, you just click it. And you scroll down to the comments. And I'm going to post more puzzles in there. A lot of noise there, but I love that song. But yeah, I'm going to post more puzzles. I feel that this is a way that I can add games to my grab-and-go advice for people who want to go in here and maybe play some games. And it'll be some puzzles that I've done. And again, you know, and I'll make sure I put the link. If you want to go do the puzzles yourself, then all you have to do is just go in there and do it. Now I'm going to tell you a fun thing. And just, here's a thumbs up right here, okay? Thumbs up. If you have two computers in your house, it can be a laptop, it can be two people have iPads. I've even done this on my little itty bitty <laughs> Galaxy S8. Um, of course, if I use my cell phone, I use like the little 10 piece, 12 piece puzzles. But if you have two people, like say you have a child or you know, you or someone else, you or a friend, you or your spouse, uh, you and your best friend want to play. You just go in there under Explore and you pick. Um, yeah, you can go right here. Last week's most played puzzles. Just say you go there. And, you know, you can say, that you know, page one, third puzzle over the top row. Or, you know, you want to go to the second page. Say you want to do this truck right here. So you would say, okay, go to page two at the bottom. And then on the second row, last one over the yellow truck. And click it. And then you two decide on how many pieces 
you know, that you want to do. You know, does this look fine or do y'all want to change the pieces? And then you time it. And believe it or not, down here at the bottom, right here, you're going to see, I don't know if you can see it on there. Let's see if I can turn it down a little bit over there. Uh, let's see if I can tap the screen and make it clear. But down and through here, it's going to give you the time like it's already 22 seconds. Okay, so your friend is going to be playing and they're going to be timed as well. So you just start moving these things around and they're on one computer, you're on another and you're just trying to see who's going to, who's going to win. You know, right now I'm thinking of taking all these stripe things. Anything with the stripes and I'm trying to pull them over there. Um, that's just what I'm trying to do. And then the bottom pieces, of course, I'm going to take them down there. Not worry about them yet. Just get them where they need to be. Um, if it's a right edge, I'm just going to kind of move it over that way. Against that right edge, a left edge. I'm going to move it way over there. Yeah, there's a left edge. Here is a right edge. Boom. And it's going to time you at the bottom. So right now it's been 1 minute and 33 seconds. So it's going to time you right here and let you know. And as soon as you finish... You know, you just say, done, you know, and it's really a lot of fun. You don't even have to play in the same city. Let's just go there. Uh, my One of my sons was in college up north, and sometimes on the weekend, we would literally play this game. It's like he would call and... Uh, He'd be like, you know, hey, let's play Jigsaw Planet. Now, it takes a lot of, a lot of, of trust. Hold my thumb up there. A lot of trust to know that they're not kidding you. But what you can always do is ask them to take a screenshot and send it to you that they just finished. And on their screenshot, it's going to have the time down there it took them to play it. So that's something that you can do. And also at the end of the puzzle, when you complete it, if they have the volume on, you'll hear like this little song. Yeah, it's like a little short song and you'll know that they completed it. But I mean, if you really don't want any kind of cheating, it's going to tell you right here how many puzzle pieces you played. 128 is this one. What shape? And how many minutes? So it really and truly is a fun game. And I'm excited about uh, the idea of trying to find a way where I can share this oops, with you all to play. You know, if you all want to go in there and play or something, then, you know. I think it's just cool because a lot of times uh, with, with YouTube, you don't really see games that you can play together. There's a lot of stuff you can do on YouTube. You can even learn to cook, speak foreign languages. But it's not always easy to find, like, a game or something that you can do together. Uh, years ago, we actually ran a BBS. I don't know if any of you guys know what a BBS is, but that was, like, years ago we did a BBS. And our BBS was a lot of fun because we had games on there that people could play. So ours was a game-centered board. We had like uh, Wheel of Fortune. Let's see, we had Wheel of Fortune. We had some other things too, I can't think. Let's see, Monte Carlo was one. Something like maybe The Last Pharaoh. It was so long ago, I can't remember. But that's what I'm wanting to do here is to create something where people can um, do more than just look at my shorts and look at my YouTube. 
that also you can have fun and do these puzzles. Did you show them where you can see the picture in case they forgot what it looked like? Yeah, and if you're doing this puzzle, like for me, I'm getting so into talking about this video that I forgot what it looked like. So all you do is you come down here at the bottom, right there, and you see a picture icon. So if you click that, it's going to show you the picture of what you're putting together. And that'll help you a little bit. Like, for instance, this, I'm looking and I can tell that's the grill of this it car. With the placement. And you know, the grill's bottom left versus to the right. Hey, it actually helped me get that together because I'm like, that's the headlight. So I got this together. But it is truly something fun. It can help keep you connected with your kids, with your old friends, with your old neighbors if you have to move one day. Entertaining yourself. It entertains yourself. I do this sometimes when I'm having trouble getting to sleep, like insomnia, or if I'm, you know, if I'm stressed out or something. You know, like sometimes in life, you know, you've got like a root canal surgery coming up or something like that, and it's like, I can't sleep. I've got a root canal tomorrow. <laughs> no way. I cannot sleep. Or, you know, hey, I can't sleep because they're going to take my wisdom teeth out. I mean, it could be anything. And if you're having trouble sleeping and you play this thing by yourself, you know, it's going to help you get to sleep. Um, and they, here's the last created, which I just showed you. And then it has the most popular ones for the week. And I mean, they have pages of puzzles. Like, there's five, and then there's nine. And these things are pretty enough that you could literally probably want to frame some of them when you finish. This right here is unique, just all the colors. And when you do popular searches, if you don't see what you're looking for here, you can actually go up here and type it in. Um, I got on this cupcake kick recently and it was probably because I was on a diet at the moment and so I wanted to look up cupcakes sweets in general yeah I just want to look up sweets because we didn't have any sweets in the house none Ooh. oops <laughs> we didn't have any sweets in the house so uh yeah so um I wanted to do some cupcakes. And here, if you see, I mean, there's at least five pages of cupcakes. All right. And then you come over here, and there's even more. You know? I'm going to skip over to seven. I'm going to skip over to 11 pages of cupcakes. I'm going to 15 pages of cupcakes. So, say this one right here, 60 pieces. And it is that funky piece, if you can see that. So say, you know, I uh, talk to my daughter and say, hey, I want you to go on your computer. Let's, let's do the 60-piece cupcake. It's on page 15, second row, last one. It has 60 pieces. And then she finds it, so we're doing this. And I hate these funky pieces. Remember, I told you about these things. So, we, you know, we agree to go to play as... And when we get up here to, to uh, I don't think you can see what I'm doing up there. I'm sorry. Try to hold it. But when we get up there to the uh, play as button right there. Goodness, can you see it? No, it's down there. <laughs> okay. So when I go up here to play as and I click it. I'm going to do custom. I'm going to choose the puzzle piece we like that we're familiar with. And I'm going to cut this down just to show you it's fun and easy. We'll do 28 pieces. I'm going to hit play. Start new game. Okay. And uh, my camera seemed okay till my little one came in here. Here. 
All right, so remember the first things you're going to do with these, which I don't have to teach you guys how to do puzzles. Oh, come on. I don't have to teach y'all how to do puzzles. But remember these, these cupcakes had different colors. And if you get confused, come down here on the bottom and just click on the picture and it shows you what you're doing. And to exit out, you just uh, click that picture again. All right. Starting up down the top. I don't know if I'll have enough time to finish this one with you guys or not. But just remember, I am going to go underneath. Uh, I'm going to do one puzzle on my page. You'll see it. And then I'm going to go underneath and add more puzzles to it in the comments. And I will give the uh, link. I'll say jigsawplanet.com. But you will be able to just click the puzzle itself and get there. You know. So you'll be able to click the puzzle and get there. And I will give credit to the person who uh, who created the puzzle. And by the way, if you want to create an account up here where you can um, sign in up and through there and create your own account, you can actually take some pictures that you've made, say around your house or you went to a wedding or something, and you can create your own puzzles the puzzles don't have to be public. The puzzles, you can set it private. And then with the private setting, you're allowed to give the puzzles to anyone you want to. So you can just share the link. And it only be with, you know, people say in your immediate family. Or you can be like these nice people who created these puzzles. And say, you know, hey, this is a puzzle I, I would like to just share with everybody. Now, there will be some people in your family who might not want you, or friends, who may not want you sharing their puzzles with all of America. So, when something like that happens, seriously. You know, I would just use general puzzles of people without people in it, you know. Because you don't want to upset your friends and put puzzles of them out there on the internet. Um, I, I thought that, that piece went there. Ah, to boom. There we go. I'm getting somewhere, people. Look at this. I am actually getting somewhere. I don't usually do the short puzzles like this. I like the puzzles that are around anywhere from a hundred and anywhere from a hundred to say a hundred and fifty. Those are the ones I really like. But this is working. It's making me sleepy, and I got to get to bed. Now I'm gonna let you hear that little noise I told you that it makes when you get to the end of the puzzle, and you can kind of hear when the other person finishes. You ready? All right, to get rid of this bar down here, which this bar is similar puzzles that you might want to do to that. But you just click uh, click the exit on there. and Anyways, and you can tell people that you finished this puzzle. And right here it says 3 minutes and 40 seconds. 100% 3 minutes and 40 seconds. All right, this is Grab and Go Advice, and hey, since we just did this puzzle here, I am going to take a screenshot of this puzzle, and underneath it, um, when I come across puzzles I really like, Christmas is coming up, I love the fall, uh, I love the fall pictures with beautiful leaves, and sometimes I like interior pictures, but... You know, hey, if you don't like the choice I put on there, you can always go to Jigsaw Planet. But I just think it's a neat way that I haven't seen on anyone else's YouTube yet where I can put some games on there that people can actually play. 
and it makes me happy because I'm finding something really cool and new to do to make my YouTube channel better. All right, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Spread peace, spread love, spread happiness, and have a cupcake every now and then. Just not, not too many cupcakes. <laughs> All right, take care. God bless.